Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial which uh, is presented by Technature Productions House. It's someone here from Technature Productions and first thing first, uh, thanks for giving us uh, 150 viewers guys just in just a week because we are new to the YouTube now and I don't know that uh, how we do create videos and uploads on YouTube but I recently started a channel which teaches about After Effects Cinema 4D and even on web designs but my pre focus is on web design because I'm a web designer and I just do it for the fun sake I don't do a job guys and just so you can see what we are presenting to today previously we just uh, done this one which is here sliding navigation bar is I just got 25 views in recently in just a week so thanks for that watching this but today we are just gonna create this it's pretty nice you can see a hover straight it looks like this press down a three illuminations looks like it's like illuminate illuminating in 3d and it looks, looks like someone pressed the buttons and then that and for the further I just make it a drop down the same type you can see further the same type drop down if you want this I will later on create this uh, drop down tutorial but today we're gonna focus on this uh, how you can get this effect now it's pretty much done we just uh, jump in close this to windows and just uh, do this and just jump into the Dreamweaver now we just create a blank document guys and I'm using Dreamweaver CC here and I'm using Dreamweaver because it's open the tags and close the tags automatically so I don't I don't want to write the whole tag so it took the time and it saved my time for creating this tutorial now it's we just created an HTML file document now inside the body we first create a div if div and just give it an ID now we get the container and it's gonna hold our so you can see it's automatically goes to div and now it's gonna hold our menu so let's uh, start we just gonna create a new another list give it a class let's give it a menu now go into the down and just close the ul another list now just create the children like li and end of li li and end of li 3 li and end of li li and end of li just 4 1 2 and let's create a fifth one a lion and a fly and just write home home service product products sorry guys product home services products and portfolio B U R T F O LIO portfolio and contact uh, I'm just uh, I don't know what I'm writing but it's okay because no one gonna check your spellings you have to check by own so now we done that you just uh, go to design view and you can see you have f this which is a pretty he another list with a s circular list type now if you're gonna inspect the mode it's present in Dreamweaver you can see the padding is available and here you can see the padding is available here and and here there are bars so let's uh, remove all the things we, what we gonna do is just uh, I'm defining the in CSS in my page guys so you don't uh, want to do that because it will make it pretty confusing but for the sake we have for the sake of the time I'm just gonna define in this page now first we're gonna, gonna create a reset property which is asterisk which is uh, shift 8 star and open close curly phrases inside that I'm just gonna write margin margin to 0 pixels and padding to 0 pixels and save that and I'm gonna save it as in index index dudes save it now hit enter save and now I'm just gonna design view you can see all the things just stick at the bottom at uh, left hand side and at the top so there's no border 
sorry guys there's no margin and padding on this list so I'm just gonna code and in that I'm just gonna write dot menu now sorry guys not dot menu just first we define a container inside that I'm just gonna write margin margin hyphen top 30 pix things will be 50 pixels and margin hyphen left margin margin hyphen left will be about 100 pixels save it F12 let's preview uh, sorry guys wait a minute we just done some mistakes M A R G I N H here we got we didn't write hash container C O N T A I N E R now refresh and go to design view you can see this now it's uh, have a uh, 50 pixels and 100 pixels from here with code view I like the code view to prefer because it's uh, easy to code then it's to draw in dream paper because you have to do much the things to even you draw so we done that much we have to do is move further now just uh, do is start menu once start menu open close curly phrases inside that we just gonna list type list style sorry guys list style to none so what it does let me show you in the design view it's remove all the sides of, of that what it says all side type circular types bullets uh, yeah that all the bullets and remove it so the bullets are removed so we don't get the bullets inside it so once we done that you gotta now we're gonna dot menu ally now we're gonna Give, uh, define our CSS to this children's children mm, ally tags so inside just open and close curly phrases and just come down and just gonna write uh, what we're gonna write is it's gonna define something about height and width display block and position so we're gonna dis uh, display block yellow CK block semicolon come down and just def define height if you're gonna define height about 50 pixels and width about 125 pixels now we done that we just refresh it and design view you can see I'm just gonna inspect it you can see this here now what you're gonna do is just to we just define height and width we leave on a float float to left so our list list items should float to left order so you can see let's let's go to design view you can see now they are facing towards the left all and arranged in a linear order that's pretty nice now we're gonna do guys it's just we're gonna define height and width we define the height and width so that's it for the thing but we want it's a nice background gradient so I'm gonna give you a project file here inside that project file which is a RAR a zip file or you can say say here is a background you can see menu bar manual like background and manual like hover background so we just copy this whole tag copy this hole make sure you copy this and gonna come down in the dream river and hit enter and paste it there make sure I'm I wrote the default background there only you don't need to do anything just copy and paste it there now we just do I'm gonna minimize this because I don't now you're gonna inspect uh, sorry guys I'm gonna switch off the inspect I'm gonna design view so you can see what it looks like it's pretty horrible now pretty horrible so close it close it and let's jump in our dream paper now we're gonna code here go to code view and just write line height line height to 50 pixels and text align to center now you can save it so going to design view you can see we have home services product portfolio and contacts 
now my guys I'm gonna give you inside the project file a image which is in the image folder and going to the body which I'm gonna give you here is that uh, sorry guys the body and define the body's background which will be just write uh, some of the background use the you choose where the file is and your images this file going to be so it's semicolon I'll put a, a semicolon down there hit enter now just give a height H -E -I -G -H height to 100 percent semicolon and width 200 percent so someone asked me how you can create a permanent background this is a solution without with the resize that doesn't affect it so F12 now you can see resizing it doesn't affect it doesn't affect the background that's if I does that's how you can that's how you create a background like that it's resizable so that's further there now we're gonna go animate this to look like more interesting than this so we can um, we're gonna animate this to look like more this so first we're gonna separate these things which I want design view it's with a border right so I'm gonna code view coming down here and just give it a border we are border hyphen right so because it's a right border now I'm just gonna give one pixels solid and gain a color of black hash we're gonna choose any color what you like but I'm choosing black I don't F12 yeah you can see they are separated with the border nice you can see here um, looks uh, pretty much interesting but still not efficient so efficient we want some efficiency now guys make sure I just give you a notepad file which is a font you can see here it has a Google font which I choose to make this back this uh, font style so we're gonna copy this if you want going to the Dreamweaver and paste it between the title no sorry guys paste it between the head tags so you're gonna paste it there and if you want to go refresh there and just go to the notepad file and copy this which is a font family and if you copy this go down where it says here hit enter and control V and refresh now if you hit F12 you will see the text style changes because it's a Google font if you upload it on the server then also it works because Google has an online web font that doesn't matter uh, where it is in offline if it's an offline once you done that you have that link it's gonna affect that font so sorry guys uh, I'm just gonna close that once we done that so we just gonna do is going in the dream river and let's check what we have some things we want the border to be curved like it it's pretty the same height and width yeah you can increase the height that width that doesn't matter but the height is the same and then we want to create something like hover transition it's pretty easy now we're gonna give let's give it some sort of things like about we just give it the font family Francis one and sensor if uh, let's let it be now just gonna calm down we gonna I think so that's it for that yeah that's it now we're gonna come down here and give this ally a class of child child and this also CLA class child one child one uh, refresh now now you're gonna come between your style text right dot child uh, child and open close button friend it's uh, called phrases inside that we just gonna write bottle hyphen Water bottom a tap so that's first take bottom B O 
bottom bottom hyphen left hyphen radius so we're just gonna write to about 50 pixels and just gonna copy this as same and just gonna come down there and paste it again but this time we're gonna change this left sorry guy bottom to the top but top left radius so refresh F12 see this is now curved you can adjust that by the pixels value which I if I do this to 10 and this also 10 refresh F12 you can see it's a less curve but it also looks nice but for this I'm just gonna use 150 pixels yeah let's save it now I'm gonna copy this I'm just gonna come down there hit enter paste it there and bait a child one and just gonna change this left to right and this also left to right now save refresh now F12 see you can see this both are now curved and that's what we wanted and now we're just gonna do is a simple hover so that's dot child no I mean, sorry guys I just what I'm thinking just g we're gonna do is just get dot menu space ally colon hover h-o-v-e-r space no sorry guys don't space open curly phrases inside that we just write background background use let it to background don't write the background guys sorry guys I'm gonna go to the text file what I've given to you I'm gonna copy this the whole thing oh, sorry oh my god point my USB mouse is not nice I want to change it so it's gonna come here paste F12 yeah for the sake of this tutorial I just done it pretty fast but if you you can see we just completed this with those effects you can add something like color transition like CO color things to be color of a bluish one semicolon F12 you can see now the color changes with it you can add plenty of those things that doesn't matter even if you can scale even if you can do is you can increase the height of the box by giving the value of height more than 125 so it will increase it automatically so that's it guys F that's it what you're gonna done here and thanks for watching this video if you want more updates please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for those updates